Hello there puzzle friends. We're here today with another video about jigsaw puzzles. Today we have something not new but new puzzles. A new jigsaw puzzle haul. I always say that I would not buy any more puzzles because I do have many. Uh, I do believe there are something like 150. But then again I end up buying some new ones. Yeah. Uh, if you have the habit, you cannot, you can never stop. So let's see what do we have here for today. We start with some American ones. Uh, these are from Suns Out. One thousand pieces. I do believe most of the puzzles are one thousand pieces. Uh, we will see. Uh, you, you see here. Um, Deer. I hope I don't say the uh, the animals wrong. Yeah, this is a deer. This is also a deer. I'm not sure. Uh, and some eagles. Anyway, I like the style of this. Uh, Sun South is American brand. They do have different shape on different dimensions on uh, the boxes and the jigsaw puzzle as well. They also measure it uh, anywhere in inches. Uh, where they are. A brand made in America. So that's it from this one. Let's go to the next one. The next one is also from the same brand. Ah, this one I found it quite interesting. I am quite into um, trains. You may already know if you've seen my my buy videos. And this one I found interesting with all this stuff happening here. This is a port. I don't know of some sort. I don't know if this is an actual place. Bronx Terminal. I can do my research when I do the puzzle. And I really like this uh, building that's this round, so to say. I have also been to such a building. They used to have this uh, to repair trains. But this one seems to be some sort of uh, station where they load stuff on the trains, on the wagons and stuff like this. A very interesting one, somewhat different from what I usually have. I also like to try different uh, images and different brands. Uh, this is a brand that's quite new to me actually, the Bluebird puzzle. Uh, this one is 1500 pieces. Uh, this is a picture from a library. Ah, it says also here, Diana Gallery from Fontaine Bleu Castle. I do, I do believe I haven't said that too wrong, the name. Uh, 1,500 pieces, uh, Bluebird Puzzle. The Bluebird Puzzle uh, brand I have made. Here you can also see some other jigsaw puzzles they have. Let me see if we ha have one of them. No, I actually do not own any one of them. They have many uh, images. Uh, they're a new brand to me. I have made one uh, jigsaw puzzle that was, I believe, 500 pieces. And it was uh, very... Um, uh, enjoyed the quality. I was very satisfied with the quality. It was something of... Uh, um, soft touch uh, to the hand and so the, the pieces uh, were put together to that. This is also a bluebird puzzle, somewhat of an autumn. I have also... Uh, I've actually seen this on Instagram. Uh, I found it very interesting as a picture. Uh, the girl that made this puzzle said it was uh, difficult, so we will see when we get to it. Uh, but still I have read from some other um, uh, friends of Jigsaw Puzzle on the internet that they were not so much um, excited about the, Im the quality of the Blueberry Puzzle. I don't know, I was quite excited with them, I did really like them, but then again, everybody has its own opinion and you are free to decide. Ah, this one, also I like this one, this is also from America, Masterpieces. Uh, they're an okay quality, I would say, and they do tend to have 
random shapes here they say they also have special shapes well you can probably tell because it's already a shape this particular puzzle it's a map of the USA and it's a picture if you bring it a little close if it's a picture that it's actually quite um, quite different from what we have in Europe USA shape puzzle uh, 1000 pieces again an interesting one uh, I'm quite excited to see how that will work out um, here is also some details about the artist that make this jigsaw puzzle and it has also the name contours also the borders and something like this I actually learned the, the word contours uh, through jigsaw puzzles I never knew such a word it sounds somewhat French to me, but I haven't researched the word. Ah, this one, uh, it's quite an interesting one. It's actually a little bit heavy. Well, it's 2000 pieces. Graphica, with graphical quality, with graphical quality, I was also very happy. This is a map, as you can tell. It's somewhat uh, um, interesting to me. It's also Greek uh, uh, on site, Thraki. Thrace, you would say it in English. Uh, it's Thrace is the part here of Greece, Rodopa. Rodopi, it's called in Greek. The part here in Greece that's uh, exactly before Turkey. Turkey is here. Um, I'm not quite sure why there exists such a map. And I was hesitating should I buy it, should I not buy it? Then I did buy it, it's somewhat unique. I do believe it's 2000 pieces, it will be <laughs> difficult to see, but I do really like maps, uh, so I bought this one and we will see. On the channel, the maps actually do not do that well of the, such as the other puzzles, but everybody has its taste, okay, what can I say? Uh, this one is also interesting, I thought it would be a make, it would make a good um, addition to the part of the channel um, it's about a train station Waterloo train station a famous uh, a very famous train station in London and it's supposed to be uh, 1000 year 1000 100 years difference uh, 1848 1949 1949 1848 1849 here you see the older picture. Here you nine. Sorry, here you see the picture that is actually somewhat uh, later in the story, uh, 1948, and it's also somewhat 100 years from now. And this is also an earlier one. I don't know if the actually had um, cars back at the time but then again they may had I'm not sure well we will see that in detail when we puzzle this uh, this is from the brand it's actually not any it's from the Brad Gibsons it's a brand that's made in the UK and they have a UK theme a London theme. Ah, and here is also some details about the painting and the artists. One picture and two pictures. This I believe it would be very interesting to see also in the time lapse and the details. And now we go as I can see to some bigger ones or some big ones. This one 2000 pieces. Uh, this one is a picture, I don't know if they say Ottoman in Bavarian Alps, Germany, that I would like to say. Uh, if you go, uh, actually, Bavarian Alps, also it's correct. If you go in Bayern, Bavaria, uh, on the south, in, that means close to the Alps, it's such a, you will see somewhat of a picture. These um, towers from the churches, that look like an onion 
uh, very characteristic. The colors they used to say we have also the golden October here, uh, and the mountains, the Alps, and such streets are very easy to find. You can also go with your bike there if you are close to this to this road. Uh, Kastorland it's a brand from Poland and they also have here some pictures they do have I actually the 4000s we don't have this is also some very similar picture that I'm saying it's a very famous picture I do believe many jigsaw puzzles have this it's I believe I do believe it's Bert in Berchtesgaden land and this one is also a beautiful one with the train so, 2,000 pieces, Castorland, and let's go to the next Castorland, also 2,000 pieces, here. This is the Budapest, the palace of Budapest. Uh, I've actually never been to Hungary, the, the capital of Hungary. I would like to travel there one day. And I have the puzzle before I travel there. Yeah? Very funny. Uh, and this is the bridge. I do believe this is the oldest bridge they have that made Buda and Pest to Budapest. If you don't know, Buda and Pest are two different cities which were united with bridges as such to Budapest. Uh, don't ask me which side is Buda and which side is Pest because as I already told you, I have not until yet been there. So, in the Danube. The Danube is a very famous and very important river in Europe. Uh, it's the second biggest um, river in Europe, but I do believe it's the most historical one. There are many capitals on it. It goes through many countries and it's also a very beautiful landscape. Uh, it starts from Germany and it ends in the Black Sea. And this one is also a castor land, it's 1,500 pieces. Uh, it's somewhat like an angel. It says the name Tender Love by Sandra Cook. It's a little girl with angel wings when the doves flying above. It's a very tranquil tranquility, a mother with a tranquility. I actually had this in mind uh, for quite some time to buy uh, because I also have something as a video to make and this would be a perfect addition to this video. And another Castellan. Uh, this one is Brathai Bridge, Brathai Bridge, I don't know how it's pronounced. It's a stone bridge on the countryside. I actually, um, this is uh, somewhat uh, painted, I actually went online to see what actually this bridge looks like. It's, I do believe it's a good depiction of this bridge. If you know more about this bridge, you can feel free to say in the comments. And yeah, what more to say, 1000 pieces, a very uh, landscapey puzzle. I do have yet some five or six that are this style, so to say, in the woods and, and landscape and stuff like this. So it's time to start putting them together, don't you think? So let's see another Ravens um, Ravensburg. Casterland, this is the last one from Casterland. Also 2000 pieces, somewhat similar the picture. Uh, it's uh, reminiscence of the autumn forest. I do like the river here, and here are the leaves that fall um, fall down. This is, uh, this is actually why the fall is called fall, or I do believe so. And I really like from this um, uh, tree that it has these branches that are somewhat like arms, trying to catch something. Uh, another image of tranquility or at least of what I believe tranquility is and we go to the last two ones. This is also a map but from a fairyland. 
I don't know if that's from a game or it's something else. I will do have to research it also when I do make the puzzle. But I really like the image. It's so picturesque, so to say, and it's somewhat of a map. So you know me about what I uh, think about maps. And I do believe this will be very interesting to do. I don't believe it will be so much difficult as the other pu uh, map puzzles because we can see clearly some text and uh, here are some figures here or the river or here is a bridge here is some forest and the uh, hill it's not a mountain or a mountain maybe of the scale it's actually a mountain but yeah uh yes a very interesting one i do believe i don't know if you like maps uh what do you like what would you like to buy in jigsaw puzzles and this is also the last one uh also from masterpieces from uh america and he this is represents some cacti cacti of the desert southwest. I like that they also have the names under of them. I'm a big fan of uh, jigsaw plants, uh, of jigsaw plants, of plants. As I can see, if it actually looks like this, uh, it's between a ribbon and a random cut. Uh, the ribbon cut is uh, the one that's always square, squares. And the random cut it's more of a random as the, the name suggests. Uh, it has somewhat of a papery feeling, which I like. Uh, and I have also have one another one. I do believe it's from New York Puzzle Company. That's also about cacti. But this one also looks from up close, looks a little more interesting than the other one. And that was, that were the puzzle jigsaw puzzles for today. Uh, quite a batch. I do believe they were 14 or 15, something like this. Did you enjoy? Did you like? Would you buy any one of them? Do you have any one of them? There were some uh, castor lands inside here. Let's put the box out of the way. Uh, is somewhat that you would really like to see on the channel. I always like to fill in requests, but then you have to um, have in mind that it may take some time because I do have a lot of jigsaw puzzles to puzzle. Here are the Casterland ones, the Waterloo. That is was it for me from today. Here's the, the map. So uh, feel free to write me in the comments what do you think, and if you have any suggestions. As I said, that's it. Goodbye. Thanks again for watching. Happy puzzling. Stay safe.